Alright, hello and welcome to Gary's Mod. Uh, this tutorial is going to be a quick E2 tutorial on how to use the uh, chat commands. So, let me go up here, chat tutorial. I'm going to close the rest of these actually. And I close the river on home. Anyway, okay, so some of these chat commands, they're the ones we're going to talk about, is last said, last spoke, find a player by name. Spelled that a little bit wrong. Uh, hide chat and uh, chat. See, okay, like that. Okay. So last said. Uh, this is the last message that was sent on the server, and it is on the server. Yeah, I'm writing this out so in case you can't tell. It was sent on the server. And yeah. Um, okay, this is the last person to have spoken on the server, or in this game, if it's just me like I am right now, I'm just doing single player. Um, if I'm player by name, this returns the entity um, with that name. It returns the player with this name, the player with the name specified as as an entity and also last spoke this all reach my return the last person that who have spoken on the server and last said if you use this after an entity like if you call it from an entity using the uh, colon and you do like entity colon last said uh, you will get you will get the last message sent by that person, and then hide chat, um, hide chat removes the chat message so no one can see it, unless you like own the server, and this um, only activates on a chat event, so it tr triggers on chat instead of on anything else. So what we do first is we're just going to do if chat, see okay. So this will only activate on chat, and then we're going to do print, and then last said. Now, right up there, hi. Okay, so there's one other uh, method I forgot to talk about, and that is run on chat, which if you said to one, that will run on chat. If you said to zero, it will not run on chat. Uh, so what we're just going to do is we're just going to do if first or do finished, you don't have to do this, but if you do or do finish, that way it'll work when you do, because when you duplicate things, it doesn't call the first method for whatever reason, so if you do it this way, you're safe. So I'm going to do run on chat, and capitalize chat, one, okay. And now, I put this down, hi, and now it will say hi back to me. When I say hello, it will say hello, and yeah, all that fun stuff. Um, at the moment, this isn't very useful because it just echoes what I'm saying. But something that is useful is if you combine the chat CLK okay with the find layer by name, and then you type in your name. So if you do Kai Dushin, like that, and then I'm just gonna—I'm not gonna bother putting in a variable. Well, I'm just gonna put it right in there. And now this will only activate if I say it. Um, you won't be able to tell because I'm the only person on this since it's a single-player game. See. Um, Hi. But it does only work if I say it, which is very convenient because probably don't want other people to be able to activate your technologies and other things. So there is another uh, very important thing for this, for that same sort of activity, and that is hide chat. Um, this will hide your chat message so that there is no way for other people to see it. If I say hi, you'll notice that my own message doesn't show up. It just shows up because I have echoing whatever I say, not my actual chat message. Uh, if you do it to hide chat anything that's not zero, it will hide the chat. If it's a zero, it will not hide the chat. Um, so something that a lot of people want to do is they want to have commands so that you can do like slash, like shoot everything, grrr ish. Uh, but more, more importantly, they want their commands to be activated by the slash. So be like, oh, if chat's okay. So for example, t 
to to implement this sort of thing, you would want to store what the person said. So I'm going to do message equals um, actually I'm just going to do it. I'm not even doing find player by name because you already know how that works. I'm going to do entity owner because that's me. So it doesn't really matter either way. So it's, I'm going to do entity owner last said. This will get the last thing I said, if I said something, which you know. It's, so if I say something, which is what this line says, then it will get the store last thing I said in the message variable. Now what you want to do is you want to access the first character in message, which you can do like this, and then you want to check if message zero. Actually no, because arrays here are crazy and they start with ones, equals the forward slash. Then print message like this. Uh, it doesn't print the message slash hi. It does print the message. Um, normally, instead of printing it, you would hide it. But I'm going to do both because, yeah, I, I'm going to do that. So if I do hi, it'll just show up normally. But if I do slash hi, it'll only show up like this. Usually, also, if your commands, you want to remove this first character, but, you know, you can figure that out. Um, so then you can just use these commands, just so it'd be like if message equals slash help, then you want to, like, tell them, you know, this is how to do things, and, you know, whatever you, I don't know exactly what you want to do, so... I'll leave that up to you, but if I do slash help, it'll say, this is how to do things, huzzah, everything works properly, goodbye, thanks for watching, have a nice day.